everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a new video. Today we are going to be unboxing the Universal Monsters Tarot Deck and Guidebook. Oh my gosh, I'm very excited to open this up. Let me tell you, when this became available on pre-order, I grabbed it as fast as humanly possible. Uh, if you've been following me for a while, it is no secret that I'm a big fan of Universal Monsters, um, especially the Wolfman, Bride of Frankenstein. It's just a vibe I very much love um, and have very well represented in my studio as well. I tried to grab some of my fun little things that are kind of around on my walls and stuff to kind of have them in the video here uh, on display. I even have like my little Wolfman figurine. I actually found him uh, on the side of the street, if you can believe that. One of my favorite things in my little studio. Anywho, I tried to be a little festive and add some fun spooky things around here uh, for this unboxing. Just a quick note, I do love to unbox uh, tarot decks and oracle decks here on the channel. Uh, if this is not something that you are into, feel free to skip this video and I'll see you next week for another art video. Most of my content is art related, but I am very passionate about tarot uh, and oracle as well. Here we go. Uh, I left the plastic on it, so we are really opening this up together. I have seen a few other unboxings of this. I couldn't resist uh, when I saw a couple of them pop up in my feed, some of the other sort of tarot folks that I follow here on YouTube. I know some, some of them got like early copies of this or like early editions of this. Um, so I, I just couldn't resist. So I have seen a little bit of a flip through, but obviously it's much different once you actually have it um, in your hands. Uh, I will say the uh, text on this is raised and I suspect that it may be glow in the dark. I'm pretty sure that is glow in the dark font on here. Let's see, is it? It does seem that way. I just closed my face uh, around my hand very closely to see. Um, it does seem like the font on it is raised and glow in the dark, which is really cool. Um, it's got this really pretty like gold embossing thing going on here. Um, it's a whole vibe. I do think this deck's going to be a little pip, a little pipish. We'll see. Um, there's the credits written by Casey Gilly, Jilly, Gilly, uh, illustrated by Joe Wilson. We'll see, uh, how pip, how pip it ends up being. Well, let's go ahead and open it up. I thought this would be the perfect deck for this fall. Spooky season is nearly upon us. Um, it just seemed like the right the right time, perfect timing to release this deck, really. Uh, first of all, love the packaging. It is designed to look like the inside of a coffin, which is absolutely adorable. Um, it even has like a wood grain on the side of it, which is really fun. Um, and like some scratches as though something or someone was trying to claw, claw out of it. So that's really fun. Love that. Um, and then, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look. Now, I, I love the Universal Monsters. I don't know if I'm going to know all of the references because I think there's quite a number of films that are represented in this deck. So I'm probably just going to know, like, the generic ones. So don't come for me if I don't know everything in here. Oh, I love the smell. Oh, the smell of a new tarot deck. I love it. Okay, we've got the tarot deck guidebook. I got some drac on the back there. Very thick guidebook. My goodness. Um, I'm not going to do like a page by page flip on here as per usual. I'm not like particular about guidebooks. I'm not someone who like really needs them. But I'll do just a quick little flips that we see. Major Arcana. Okay, yeah, and I don't want to spoil the cards for myself either. So I do appreciate though these big, beautiful, full color illustrations that are in here. That is very cool. Yeah, there's definitely going to be some things that I that I'm not going to know um, in here. Okay, and then I do see a change of suits. It looks like I see candles, which makes me wonder: is that wands? Do they tell you? Let's see. Do they tell you? Do 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 do. Okay, four suits, candles, crypts, claws, and castles. So candles are wands, crypts are cups, claws are swords, castles are pentacles. Okay. Oof, I have to try to remember that. I always I always struggle with that. Do they tell you who's on each card? No. 
it does seem like what's interesting too is that in the guidebook they're, they're giving you two different definitions in the light and in the shadows so I'm assuming that's an upright and a reversed would be my guess And then just looking at the back, let's see if they give you some sample spreads. I always love when they give sample spread ideas, I think is kind of fun. Caring for your for your deck. Be sure to keep it out of any dank places. Okay. Oh, and they actually talk about cleansing your deck. That's interesting. Depending on how often you read the cards, consider cleansing their energy with smoke, crystal, salt, or a combination of ingredients. That's cool. I like that. Prepare for reading. And then we've got some spreads, sample spreads in here. Cool. Okay, very, very in-depth um, guidebook there. I will say that, very, very in-depth. Okay, let's take a look at the cards. I love the back design. Love the way this looks. That is really, really cool. Let's see how they feel. There's the other side of our coffin. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And let's go ahead and just get a feel. They feel similar to other decks. I wouldn't say there's anything special or different about these ones. Nice and smooth, decent paperweight. Um, and let's go ahead and just work our way through here and see what we have inside. All right, we've got the Fool, of course. The Magician. I do really love the back design on these. That is really neat. Definitely giving me Halloween, Halloween vibes for sure. We have the Magician. The High Priestess. I'm looking forward to getting to know this deck. Um, especially just understanding the film references as well, I think will be a lot of fun. Again, really feeling like a seasonal deck as well. Um, I feel like this is going to nudge my Nightmare Before Christmas deck into Christmas, and this is going to become like my Halloween deck. If I connect with it, of course. The Emperor. The Hierophant. Very cool illustrations. I love the style of it. The lovers. By the way, if you hear snoring, that is my pug Dante snoring right at my feet. The chariot. Okay, that's interesting. Huh. Okay. Strength. The hermit you guys can see these wheel of fortune okay I, I kind of get the vibe of that one with the invisible man justice yeah see some of these references I unfortunately I, I don't know off the top here the hanged man this is really cool love this death that's a mummy action. I love the reflection of the mummy in the water there. Temperance. Very interesting. Huh. The devil. The tower. Excellent. Excellent representation there, I think. The star. The moon. Okay, that makes sense. I, I don't understand... Uh, Wolfman and the Chariot. Not, not, not quite getting that. This one I get. This is this is up my alley for sure. Um, or at least I understand. That makes a lot of sense. Um, and I again love the illustration. We got the sun. Judgment. The world. That makes sense. This is the same little airplane shape that's also on the backs of the card. Which is cool. Okay, now we're in candles, which I believe is wands. So king of candles. Queen of candles. 
Knight of Candles. The illustrations are awesome. Love this. Let's see how pip they get. Hmm. Sorry, Tante's snoring so loud. Hmm. They do get pretty pip. It's, it's, it's pip, but it also isn't because, I mean, they're still like full illustrations, which I obviously very much appreciate, but it's a pretty simplified representation of them. I still really like it, but my beginner tarot folks, this is probably not, not a deck for you. <laughs> um, or at least until you become more comfortable or at least have a rider weight handy uh, so that you can kind of compare and contrast. But I know learning tarot with a, pip, a true pip deck or a deck that is like this um, can be very challenging because you're not going to have all of that sort of visual symbolism and references that you can kind of draw your own meaning from or pull meaning from. It's a lot harder. Um, I know for myself, I do a lot of intuitive reading, typically. That's why I'm usually not a big guidebook person. Um, and that is harder to do with cards like this. Okay, Crips. So that is Cups. So you can see that the, um, you know, King, Queen, Page, all that stuff is represented with more complete illustrations. And then, yeah, then you get just full... Pip Pip City USA with the remaining ones, but there it's a but it's a good Pip deck though I will say. <laughs> Page of Crips, Ace of Crips, and then yeah, I mean like even just had I not looked at the guidebook to know what the suits were, at least how they're being sort of translated, I feel like I would have struggled with this a little bit. Even just knowing what was what. I mean, it's beautiful. Don't get, I mean, like, this is amazing. Like, I, I'm just going through these cards. It makes me want to go draw. I can say that for sure. Um, but it is, this is a, would be a challenging one to read. It'll be interesting to see if I connect with this deck and how I do reading with it. Mm, that's cool. That's Ten of Cups. So now we're in Claws, which is Swords. Queen of Claws. Knight of Claws. I love all the range of colors in this too. It's very cool. Ace of Claws, love that. Love that. Two of Claws. I love, I love drawing hands, right? They're just so fun to draw. I look at this and I just want to go, I want to go draw it, draw all the things. I love this like bat handle on the side of the coffin going on there. Nine of claws. I think this is definitely a fun deck if you are a monster fan, a Halloween fan, Spooky fan. I oh, love this. This is cool. I love the colors in this. That is very neat. Hmm. Yeah, this is this. I, I would not just just at first glance. This is not one I would recommend for beginners, but a beautiful deck nonetheless. Okay, we have uh, castles, which is pentacles. Which I guess does make sense. You think of earth and grounding and material things, roof over your head. Castles does work for that. And I like that the, the sort of alliteration among the suits that they're all like C words is kind of cool. It's a fun way to sort of unify the deck too. But even like these sort of cards, it feels a little random to me, like as though they're just plucking characters out of films and assigning them to cards. 
Ace of Castles. I mean, it's it's beautiful. Don't get me wrong, it's beautiful. Love the way it looks. <laughs> we got some arm armadillos. Puppy, puppy. <laughs> You're snoring so loud. Okay, Ten of Castles. Yeah, I mean, especially. Oof. Especially some of these. I feel like they're just they're just putting they're just putting castles in on cards, you know. Interesting. Okay, wow. Um I have a lot of thoughts and feelings, which I kind of have already talked through. Look, it's a beautiful deck. Don't get me wrong. I have zero regrets purchasing this. This is definitely uh, an absolutely gorgeous deck that I will do my best to get to know. You know, it. I would consider this a pip deck, though. It's a well-done pip deck, but it's definitely a pip deck. Um, but the illustrations and the art kind of, kind of make up for that for me um, because they're really just, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, and I, it, it makes the artwork alone draws me into this and makes me want to work with this deck and try to get to know it just because I feel so inspired and I love the vibe of the deck overall. And even though I'm not a big fan of swapping suits out for other names, I do actually like the names that they've given into this deck. I feel like it is still a little bit more cohesive and kind of just, it fits the theme um, but this this would definitely be I, I this is not a deck for beginners. I know I know I've said that a number of times at this point, but not a beginner's deck, but certainly a beautiful collector's deck um, and just absolutely gorgeous. So look, no regrets buying this. We'll see how I get along with it, getting to know it. Um, but it was definitely fun to open up and unbox. I can tell you that. It makes me want to go pull out a sketchbook and draw all of the Halloween spooky things because. Uh, that was a lot of fun to even just go through the artwork alone. The packaging too is is really awesome. Uh, the coffin design and the little glow in the dark text on the box. I really appreciate all those little details. So that that alone was very very cool. So there you have it, guys. I have a quite chaotic desk going on as I try to also not catch myself on fire here. Uh, but I did really enjoy going through this deck with you. I hope you enjoyed it as well. I have now several tarot deck or card unboxings on this channel. I'll need to put it together a playlist for you. I'll put a link to that down below in case you want to watch some more kind of unboxings. Um, otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next week for another new video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.